Number 38. Compare the rate of heat conduction through a 13 centimeter thick wall that has an area of 10 square meters and a thermal conductivity twice that of glass wool with the rate of heat conduction through a window that is 0.75 centimeters thick and that has an area of 2 meters squared, assuming the same temperature differences across each. All right, so we have to compare the rates of heat conduction. And anytime you hear rate of heat conduction or just conduction in general, this is the formula to use. This represents the rate of heat conduction. Remember, this is essentially, we've done this several times now, it's essentially power. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be comparing, and they don't tell me whether I want to compare this in a ratio that compares the power uh, of the wall to the glass, to the window, or the window to the wall. So I don't, you know, I'm just going to take it in order as they mentioned it. So this is basically the power of the wall re uh, relative to then the power of the window. So let me, wind and wall, I'll put, okay, window and wall. So now basically I can do, you know, this is the ratio I'm trying to calculate. That's what they mean by compare, right? Um, so, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, you could have done this a couple of ways, but in my opinion, this is probably what they're looking for to compare it in terms of a ratio. So now we are we can now substitute in uh, each of the formulas over here for each of the powers, basically. So this is the K of then the wall multiplied by the area of the wall multiplied by the change in temperature of the wall all divided then by the thickness D of the wall. Same thing now. We're going to divide this whole thing. Let me put a big old division sign there. Let me move this into the center a little more maybe. I'm going to divide that all now by the formula for the wind. So we got the thermal conductivity constant of the window, the area of the window, the change in temperature of the window, divided by the thickness of the window. Now you might be saying, well, T2 minus T1, how come you're writing delta T? Well, that's what it is, right? Change in temperature is final minus initial, or it's one minus the other. Now, they tell us it's the same in this problem, so they will eventually cancel. But what I want to do here is to set up, because this fraction looks a little... Actually, you know what? This should be easy. I'm not, I'm not going to really do too much algebra. These temperatures will cancel. Be, why? Because they tell us the same temperature difference across each. So they go bye-bye. And now, basically, I can plug in everything else, right? So now, if I were to calculate this, it's going to be the power of the wall relative to the power of the window is going to be equal to the, the thermal conductivity constant of the wall. They said it's going to be twice that of glass wool. So just take the glass wool value of 0 0.042 and multiply it by 2. Fairly straightforward. So this then becomes 0 0.084. The area they told us was 10 square meters. The change in temperature was constant. or excuse, Yeah, constant amongst both. So in terms of the ratio, they're going to cancel. So that's divided by then the thickness. And what did they say? And the thickness is 30, 13 centimeters, but you know you need that in meters. So divide that by 100, so it becomes 0.13. And then simply take that, fraction, take that fraction and then divide it by another fraction. So it's now the thermal conductivity of the window, so 0.84. The area of that window, what did they tell us? Two meters squared up there at the top. And then divide that now by... Uh, the thickness, again, that's in centimeters, but we need it in meters. So divide that by 100, so it's going to be 0 0.00750. And lo and behold, we're going to calculate our ratio. So let's see what we got. So 0 0.084 multiplied by 10 divided by 0.13. And then take that result and then divide it now by 0 0.84 times 2 divided by 0 0.0075. And what do we get? So we get now a value of basically 0 0.0. 288 or two, yeah 288 I guess three sig figs and eh, who cares about sig figs right 288 to one okay that is the that is the comparison so which one conducts uh, more heat per second basically right because these are both powers well the window does and that should make sense you know that the you know that when you go if it's cold outside or warm outside and you go feel the window Right, it feels warmer. Now, not necessarily does that mean that it actually is warmer because we you know, discussed in prior problems that your sensory apparatus is set up to detect rates of heat transfer. Um, however, though, you know, being, being that that's the case, also this rate of heat transfer is higher. Okay. Um, so if it is warmer, you'd actually detect it. Even if they're the same temperature, you'd probably still detect uh, that the window would be uh, possibly warmer than the wall. Anyway, all right, that's enough of that. So there you go. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time.